So I have proof on some people who've grown on social media tremendously and I get this question a lot and they're like, Jay, do you watch rice gum? I have people that call me the girl version of rice gum, which I can't tell if it's a, if it's a compliment. I the YouTube, I go like a jet ski, yeah, I started with the tour. I can tell that you came with a Disney flow, hey. Ain't nobody ever heard about your Disney show, hey. Got a bitch that remind me of my cereal from... Hey, what's up? I'm kind of pissed. Uh -huh. Today. It was a fail. P.O. Box was not accomplished. So hopefully, as I go to the P.O. Box today, it won't be a failure. How do I, how do I open this? Okay. Ah! I'm kinda angry. <laughs> like and subscribe. So it's been like four hours and I have wrapped up like a few meetings and literally like 100 DM. And we're at T-Bar. Looks like that. Cool, cool, right? I have to head home soon, but I just wanna say thank you so much for 14,000. Thank you so much for the Dharma Nations growing. If you would like to join, make sure you hit the subscribe button and like this video. Just left T-Bar. We are now going into the car. Everyone's like laughing at me. It's quite late. Oh, it's Saturday night, duh. People are having fun, hanging out with their friends. Meanwhile, I'm working. <laughs> Everyone's hanging out with their friends. Everyone's on a date. Everyone's just having fun. Well, you know what? Life is not sunshine and butterflies, okay? Some people hang out and some people work. Who are you? After this one, I'm gonna run, run, run. Everyone's hanging out. What the heck? Where's my invite? All right, cool. I think I parked close. My dad just called me, so your girl's gotta go. Okay, so we are at Nordstrom Rocks. I need to fix my life. Well, obviously, but like I really need to get my life in check every day. I go to life and um, I'm like, hey, where's my credit card? Where's my wallet? Where's my license? And I lose it all the time. And I can't blame myself. Maybe it's just because I don't have like a wallet. I never carry cash anymore because your girl's actually making money now. I was literally gonna talk to myself into buying like a Louis Vuitton card holder because that was my dream when I was younger. And now I could possibly buy it. But I'm like, that's a waste of money. I can use it on AdSense and I can use a marketing budget. So like, is it even Makes sense to wear at Nordstrom Rack because you know it's a steal here. Okay, listen, I really like this one. It's a little Mark Jacobs wallet, 40 bucks. I'm like, I could buy that at the dollar store. I do like the name, but I might, I want to get the Louis Vuitton one, but like, yeah, like that's too much money. The bag I really want, guys, so cute. Look at this. <laughs> you guys know my addiction for handbags, even though I restrain myself really well. I never buy anything. I'm that good, that cheap. Hashtag entrepreneur, hashtag a creator, hashtag balling on a budget. Hashtag, gotta use that money for my ads. Almost done on Nordstrom Rack, it's been like an hour. So I got some stuff and it's for my mom. It feels great, so get my mom something for her birthday. I've never been able to pay for anything now and now I can, thank you YouTube. <laughs> Just kidding, there's a lot of the marketing money and coaching calls. I thought I spent it on my mom because your mom is probably the best investment. ROA positive, always ROA positive. The next day. Uh, okay, hi, so sorry, kind of forgot to uh, end the vlog. So we're gonna spit some value. I actually was working on, what do you guess, the app. And I think the huge thing I was researching for content was trying to see how other successful people made it. So I have proof on some people who've grown on social media tremendously. And I get this question a lot. And they're like, Jay, do you watch rice gum? I have people that call me the girl version of rice gum, which I can't tell if it's a, if it's a compliment. I did some research and I have some stuff to share with you guys we're gonna talk about how the big boys grow on social media so today's episode is rice gum now i know some of you guys hate him some of you guys hate him if we can just you know not be romantic or emotional about this it'd be great this was like the one of the only people that i was like yes like i get it like anyways the statistics are if you guys don't know rice gum he is a youtuber now self-made rapper you could consider okay i know his you guys don't like his music some of you freaking hate it but all i know is his growth is tremendous i think almost 10 million subs on youtube 5 million on instagram a couple another million on spotify so this guy oh my god i just saw a tesla oh, i want a tesla so bad does anyone else want a Tesla Model X too? Or Model S? Oh, did I say the comment winner yet? Shout out to the comment winner. Shout out to the comment winner. Comment on this post to be featured in the next episode. If you want to be the next comment winner, please comment below like your goal item in life. Like if you have one, like if you're not materialistic, it's fine. But like if you have a goal item in life, my goal item is probably a Tesla Model X or Model S. I don't know. I'm not really into cars, but that car looks beautiful. Anyways, sidetrack. So back to rice gum he's been very he's been killing it he owns like the clout house and rice gum is i think he started out as a gamer in 2000 and i'll pop it right here but what was really interesting is like his content has changed but his audience has still been engaged a lot of people you can see are successful but they can't cross platform for what Ryska was able to do was go from gaming to kind of like in this kind of roasting challenge to now like a self-made rapper and now he does whatever the f 
he wants and he had such great views like such great views I was a little bit shocked I was like how did rice gum do that because like he's funny you know you could consider and there's a lot of fun of people out there why is rice gum the one that sticked you know that's why I, I'm always curious like there's a lot of talented people out there but like why do the ones that aren't as talented like do better in life I don't know um, so my biggest like conclusion to that by the way so rice gum posted a video called these kids must be stopped and it was with a lot of these musically stars rice gum made this video that just did viral because he used the names of relevant musically stars in his video so you guys know I'm, I'm a huge fan of collaborating but like rice gum did it like without being in person which is smart I mean like you guys can't admit that we like collaborate with people all the time Time without realizing when you're using their name for example if we make a video and if you do remixes of course you're using their name for relevance so rice gum did something similar kind of like a couple years ago and one of them stuck but the thing is that wasn't it I think what I realized is rice gum had a very strong consistency in his kind of content message all of his content was bingeable I don't know if you guys know this might be creepy but he has like a couple series videos on these kids must be stop videos it's like him roasting musically stars and he's roasting all these people's names and of course if you're using Jacob Sartorius or anyone that's famous their fandom will come along because you're using them in a title so he was able to like accumulate a bunch of little kids and like 10 freaking million little kids that are in love with musically stars that also find rice come funny so that's why his audience is really young and everyone gets for that but i'm like guys like the younger your audience is do you understand how they're gonna be more obsessive because when you're a kid like your life is youtube your life is whatever you're obsessed with and once you get older you have taxes to pay bills to do and i think rice gum like it's whatever so i'm not like defending rice gum okay like so many people think like i'm girl version of rice gum which i'm just like i don't even know if that's a compliment or not all i know is that like i understand boy so i do watch his content but not that much because again it's like for little kids but i low-key think it's funny fast forward he made a video kind of with jacob sartorius because jacob sartorius responded to rice gum's roast and then he responded back so this kind of created a domino effect and it creates a series my number one thing guys is start with using something that takes love Leverage, like using someone's name, you know, leveraging a collaboration, using someone in the title, and then keep going. Don't stop. Keep milking the audience that you've already get the attention of. If something goes viral, keep going. Don't stop with the title unless you're like Emma Chamberlain. He took the audience attention and converted it into a series. Over the span of one year, he grew tremendously at this point. He's unstoppable. Like he's in the freaking Super Bowl this year. So I thought I mentioned Rice Gum. If you want me to expose anyone else, people make fun of YouTubers that are famous for not having any talent. I'm like, boy, like. Yeah, maybe they're stupid, but like they're getting, they have some type of talent, audience retention and consumer uh, behavior. So don't even like, honestly, I hate it when people give for people that are doing well just because they can't do it either. Like they're complaining in their in the living room saying like, oh my God, like OMG, like every YouTuber that has millions of subscribers is literally so stupid. They're like talentless people. And I'm like, okay, so what are you going to do about it? Like, are you going to stop them? Like, no, like they're okay with other people's success. People don't give credit to YouTubers that made it. I hope that gives you insight. Always do series, guys. Series, series, series. Part one, part two, part three, part four, part five videos do the best and never stop milking. Never stop milking your audience, okay? So we're at the juice bar place. All right. There. So I actually want to just close off this vlog. Sorry, this is random. I just want to like, you know, sometimes I catch myself doing things and I feel bad. I don't know, this is just me. So I really don't mean to be like, I hate people who like blame other YouTubers for being like lazy people or like untalented. I have so much empathy because I understand like it's kind of weird how like you can literally get famous and make millions off making slime. You know, I think the best motivation comes from positivity. That sounds so cliche, but I hope when you look at people that are doing that's weird you actually get excited and you you know it's positive like I hope I'm not saying like I hate people that do this because I sometimes I like, catch myself I appreciate your feedback and I love you guys so so much but if you do want to listen to drop shipping drop out on iTunes and SoundCloud it will be linked below it's getting on Spotify right now I believe there's a whole application process anyways thank you so so much for watching like this video join the Dharma Nation you know what to do I really appreciate it I make videos here every single day and if you'd like to join the Dharma Nation which is you guys you can just click the red button and I truly appreciate it and I mean the world anyways guys I'm gonna go to a smoothie place if you want to continue this vlog I will link it below seriously if you're not doing anything I'm just gonna link the next part two version of this because it's just a crazy day I'll catch you guys in the next one check out part two of this video kind of uh, and I'll catch you guys in the next one goodbye